airports. <laughs> OK, pilots defy smoke ban. Uh, there are still some airlines that you can smoke on, something I find disgusting. Uh, but Spanish pilots have vowed to keep smoking in the cockpit after Iberia Airlines introduced a no smoking rule. <laughs> that was the airline you said that you actually allow smoking. They don't anymore. But they do in the back. <laughs> after, about, after about 20 minutes, you're after about, after about eight up. pints, uh, they don't mind if you have a smoke. <laughs> <laughs> look, look dangerous enough, they'll let you have one. <laughs> uh, but anyway, passengers can choose their airline. We cannot. The cockpit is our workplace. If these Spanish pilots, what I'd like to be is on a flight and you suddenly see a few crew members, you know, instead of the fire escape, just clustered on the wing having a tab while you're <laughs> Having a nice little chat, just hanging out. Uh, now, I'm getting to the French section for oh, a lot of good. stories. Oh, Winning over the, the 22 miles that separates us. Uh, <laughs> goose fat up and swim it, John. Yeah, I will. <laughs> you are obsessed with goose fat. Goose fat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just dollop it on. Put it all on! <laughs> they'll just see me coming along with a big wash. <laughs> They smell goose fat, they'll know I'm there. Uh, anyway, more than 450 British pilots face the sack because France says they're too old to use its airspace. In France, you've got to retire as a pilot when you're 60, Britain, 65. So the French are now rejecting British pilots. Something they didn't do between 39 and 45, do you know what I mean? Sorry, so I don't know where that came from. I'm turning to this, I'm turning to this dreadful sort of bigot. Uh, the Paris government has banned over 60s, directly clashing with Britain's policy to allow commercial pilots to, pilots to work until 65. With many flights crossing France, our eldest flyers will be grounded for long periods. They fear this will lead to forced early retirement. I think experience is what you want when you're up yeah. there. Well, and that yeah. extra five years, OK, you might be a bit shaky. <laughs> And you might not always indicate when turning up. <laughs> but, uh, my God, we need those boys up there, those senior flyers. The Big Breakfast salutes you all. Uh, and here's another one from the France. Uh, from Fran the France. The France. Yeah, here's another Le one from France. the France. France defies EU over British beef. Now, the French said, you know, uh, the whole EU exists really to sort of uh, kind of give the Germans lots of cash to get East Germany going again, Old East Germany going, and also to help French farmers. We know that that's fact. <laughs> stop! Uh, stop, sorry. I've got that seat mad this morning. Um, French ministers were last night accused of adopting delaying tactics to keep out British beef. Uh, British beef now has been ruled OK by Europe, so legally they should take it now. They should yes. take over. It's, 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 it's you're preaching the converted. We know it's delicious. Uh, farmers in the UK reacted angrily. I can reveal that Johnny Vaughan is a vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, farmers in the UK reacted angrily to reports that France was demanding further scientific evidence before agreeing to end the export ban. No. So they're just, you know, playing for time. They go, oh, no, we, need, we need more experiments, we don't know, uh, they're saying. Did they have um, mad cow disease over there? No, they didn't. They did. Didn't they? No, they didn't. Why didn't they? Because uh, they wouldn't accept any of our cows at the time. Because they uh, couldn't afford <laughs> Like... Like, like madmen. <laughs> uh, anyway, but I think we can kill two birds with one stone. We've got the beef ban, they've got the pilot ban. I think we should send veteran pilots over France to drop leaflets like that. Yeah! Yay! That is killing two birds with one stone, dropping those. It's not D-Day. This is beef, that's B-Day. <laughs> it's B-Day. They'll drop... I'll leave us there, Richard Bacon. It's a sort of exactly so he's got a name yes. like he's got, a, he's got a, a name like Bacon, probably comes from a long line of butchers. <laughs> um, but I think that'd be Jimmy, a good idea. Yeah, I'd love uh, it. And also reverse the trend. You know that uh, we all go to France for booze? We should have beef hypermarkets mm. in Kent. Yes. Best enders. You can just go over there, <laughs> load up with beef, coaches going back to France just with swarms of flies. Yes. <laughs> we get burger-sized ones and pelt the yeah, French pelt with the beef. beef. <laughs> <laughs> Big howitzers pumping beef over the channel. Ooh, all day. Ooh, ooh, just ooh. burgers. Burf, burf, burf. Which is, of course, French for beef. Okay. Oh. I also think that that, British Airways looking for a new tail fin design. There it is right there on the back. <laughs> And do you know what else they should do as well? They should only serve beef on flights to France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when Johnny French <laughs> looks up to expect his lunch, you go, no, 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 because you don't eat beef. Here's your French stick and a bottle of Perrier. Now, yeah. clear off. Yeah. Go on. Okay. Here's another one for you. This is our woman of the day. Uh, shopper, Sharon Davison. Get ready to cheer. Okay. Shopper, Sharon Davison, turned down a free holiday in Paris. You know why? Why? To go to Blackpool. Yeah!
Of course you did. Oh, yeah. You had to. Yeah, lady. Yeah, you didn't. You didn't mean lady. Lady. Anyway, um, Sharon won a 1,000 weekend in the French capital in a supermarket raffle. Uh, but the mum of two stunned bosses at Morrison's, that's Morrison's, by telling them <laughs> she'd rather take her bucket and spade to the lively Lancashire resort, and her husband Robert was delighted. Oh, hey! Yeah. Uh, they quickly changed the prize, and now Sharon is set to make her 51st trip to Blackpool. She said, who needs the Eiffel Tower when there's one as good in Blackpool? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he says, and I'd rather eat rock on Blackpool prom than goat's cheese on the Shons and Lisa. Yeah! That's what they do on this closet, don't they? <laughs> All those French people and toys munching big piles of goat cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Typically French, though. Uh, it's the second time Sharon... It's the second time. Amazing. Ooh. This is why she's our woman of the day. Because uh, she's consistent, and a good horse is one which runs true to form. We know this. <laughs> it's the second time Sharon of Wakefield, West Yorkshire, has snubbed Paris for her favourite destination. No. <laughs> she snubbed it before, she'll snub it again. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as an 11-year-old, even then, she knew. Uh, as an 11-year-old, she quit a school trip to France to go to Blackpool. As a school trip to France, she said, no way, I'm going to Blackpool. She says, when I won, I thought, oh, no, not Paris again. Yeah. Uh, 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 do you know what? That's all I've got time for here. I'm going to go for the papers and pun down. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> OK, mirror story. The lawyer responsible for, fi uh, for funding or finding a memorial for Diana misses six out of eight vital meetings. Pun says. Brief encounter. Oh, good. Good. Quite good. Well, it's pretty weak, actually. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Star story. What does Prince Edward do for this country? Nothing, sir. 018195. All the one. Or Susie, you want to fax us? If yeah. you a more lengthy thing to actually really explore exactly what he does, apart from just slag us off abroad. Uh, <laughs> anyway, the pun says. <laughs> Prince Deadwood. Yeah. You know what happens to Deadwood? It gets cut out, John. <laughs> yes, when the, when the chippy arrives, <laughs> he's looking for Deadwood. <laughs> OK, here we go. Mirror, story, pint-sized actor, Tom Cruise. Tiny little fella. Tiny little fella. Hello. All right, Tom. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, he pulls a face at the cameras, which is, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's enough of a story. It's number one. It's in the mirror. The pun says, Top Gun. Oh. Oh. Those were the papers and puns, they yeah. said.